Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to this session. This is a networking session where all participants are invited to talk about yourself. Um, I wanted to, I actually, I expected to more people coming in. <laughs> but um, since it's uh, 8.30 in the early morning, um, we, in the on-site venue, uh, I can see the people who only, n or I already know. <laughs> so, and uh, so I just wanted to change the structure a little bit. Uh, and I see some people online, and uh, until we we have some some people coming into the on-site venue, we'd like to ask each of you, including on-site participant, to uh, <coughs> in introduce the yourself very, very briefly so that we can uh, have a conversation um, on-site and online together. Hope it's okay. Thank you. So, um, BB, May I uh, share my screen? Thank you. All right, then. Um, yeah, before we get started, I'd like to ask the moderators to briefly introduce themselves. So first, I'd like to pass the mic to Mashiko-san, and then later on, uh, on, on si uh, online, Adli and Bibi. So off you go, please. Uh, hi, all. Uh, hello. I'm Hiroki Mashiko from NTT Data Cert. Um, uh, NTT Data is one of the major system integration company in Japan, and uh, NTT Data Cert is the internal C cert of the NTT Data. Um, actually, I'm a forensic engineer of NTT Data Cert, so actually I'm a technical oriented people more than uh, s uh, more than governance related or so on. But uh, that maybe you know, and uh, the governance itself is strongly connected to uh, my work as well. So I'm uh, looking forward to hearing your opinions uh, of uh, today's discussions. So let's make a great discussion today. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Mashiko-san. Uh, may I? Pass the floor to Adli. Yep. Uh, ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning, everyone. My name is Adli Wahid, uh, and I am uh, with the Asia Pacific Network Information Center as a security specialist. Um, I do a lot of engagement with the CERT and CSERT community uh, in this region, including helping to establish newer CERTs. Uh, and in the past, I have used to work for National CERT, which is a Malaysia CERT, uh, and uh, a CERT for the financial institution. So looking forward to discussing and chatting with everybody today. Thank you. Thank you, Adli. So uh, last but not least, Bibi san please. Inasama, ohayou gozaimasu. Welcome everyone, good morning. My name is Bernhardt, but everyone calls me Bibi, so please follow these guidelines. I am here in Japan in Nara Institute of Science and Technology doing my postdoc, uh, but I am a member of the National CERT team of Latvia, so CERT LV, and also I'm affiliated with the NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence in Tallinn, I'm the ambassador uh, and former researcher for that center of excellence. Well, I'm looking forward to moderating and having a productive conversations with you. Thank you, Vivi san The most strict guideline is presented, so please follow. <laughs> well, thank you. So my name is Masae Toyama from JP Cert Coordination Center. I became a uh, part of CSERT community four years ago. 
and my first IGF was 20, 2020, which was fully online. Then in the last I IGF in Ethiopia, actually it was so hard for me to find the people with similar backgrounds, namely working at CSERT or doing cybersecurity. Um, so my idea was to break out of this situation and uh, create a place where your day-to-day -day work in cybersecurity meets international internet governance. Um, while cybersecurity practitioners uh, plays an important role in keeping secure and stable cyberspace, their voice in the IGF is not that loud enough. Uh, amongst various stakeholders in IGF. So I think that the more fellows we get, the louder our voice would be, so that we know what we need to be done. Um, this is the background story of why I decided to submit the IGF uh, session proposal. I am delighted that the IGF found my proposal beneficial to participants. Well, however, if they really care about us. Um, I think the session should be set for later, not kicking off at 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on me speaking, so um, I'd like to, now I'd like to listen to a participant's uh, self-introduction. So would you please, uh, Yes, I will pass the mic ah, online first. Well, thank you. So let's have uh, some voice from online participants. So I'd like to open the floor, especially for online. So please, on uh, participants, if you'd like to start. Okay, so let me read out the name, and if you can turn on your microphone on, you can uh, have a self brief self uh, introductions. So let me call out the name. Um, is there Kenny Chantre? Hello. Hello. Hi, thank yes. you for coming. Uh, would you please introduce yourself and why? What made come? What made you come to this session? Hello, uh, my name is Ken Chantre. I'm Cape Verdean, uh, living in in Cape Verde uh, in in these moments. My interest uh, to come uh, to this meeting is to know is to know more about uh, about uh, internet government. For now, uh, I am ambassador from Pan Africa Young uh, Ambassador for Internet Governance, and uh, my interest is to know more about uh, uh, internet governance. Yes, thank you. All right, thank you so much. So let's move on to, um, sorry, my pronunciation. Um, Captiona Terrarin. Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just messed up. <laughs> so let me move on to the next person who is Francisco Mostedosa. Hi. Uh, hello, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Francisco from Ecuador. Uh, it's very important the, the networking, the uh, initiative of the multi-stakeholder uh, but in in my country, it's uh, impulse and um, promote uh, these uh, actions uh, and these events uh, for all stakeholders. Thank you so much. 
Thank you very much. So let's move on to the next person, Amir Adas Mohammadi Koshiki. Hello. May I ask you to introduce by yourself very briefly? I'm sorry, Amir, we cannot hear you. Right, so in this case, let me... Uh, thank you so much for uh, putting yourself on mute. We will uh, ask you to later on to have yourself present in the breakout discussion. So the last person at the moment is Saudia Pina Mango. Hello, good morning. If you can turn on your microphone, we will ask ask to introduce yourself very briefly. But if not, we will move on to the self the introduction for online partici uh, on-site participants. Right. Okay, she's gone. Oh. <laughs> so now we have uh, some people, which is much better than in the beginning compared to the beginning. So, um, okay. So let's move on. Let's go back to the original agenda, so that we can proceed the breakout discussion. So um, let's move on. Here's a little bit of, of housekeeping. Let me try to keep it short. So as I said, this networking session is uh, asking you to uh, stand up and walk freely to talk to someone you have not yet spoken to. Maybe it's difficult, <laughs> in the, in all, especially on, on, on site, but yeah. Please try. <laughs> we will have two or three short sessions. Each session will, ten t will be 10 minutes. Seven minutes short discussion plus uh, three minutes comment. Comment section is trying to interact the people in on-site and online. So we will exchange the comments and what try to understand what is what was going to uh, discussed and please uh, cooperate with the moderators for timekeeping especially because we changed the agenda so <laughs> um, the the instruction might be different from the original slide so please co thank you for your cooperation and we we prepare some guiding question to to facilitate the the conversation. But besides the, the guiding question, you can, of course, you can uh, s uh, introduce your name and your uh, your identification or where what what makes you to come this IGF. Yes, yeah, of course, you can talk about this kind of uh, ice breaking. And uh, as I see, we have less than 10 uh, participants on site, but I can see the sticky notes on your uh, chest or whatever, so you can uh, identify who to talk. So watch the sticky notes. Right, so let's go to the, the first discussion. Uh, I will pass the mic to Mashiko-san. Okay, so I will uh, read the how to say, question, <laughs> and uh, uh, I will keep in the time uh, on this session. So thank you for your cooperation, for the cooperation, okay. 
Good. So um, after I finish to read the question, um, uh, for ah, this, this instruction is only for on-site uh, participants. Uh, please make the some two, two groups, I think. Two or three, two or three groups, maybe. Yeah, I think. And then and start the discussion group. Okay. So the first guiding question is: uh, When do you feel? that your commitment to cybersecurity is creating and sustaining an open, free, and secure internet. Yeah, this is a bit difficult question, maybe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe it's a diffi uh, especially <laughs> big, uh, difficult for the brain in the morning. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but yeah, let's... <laughs> Yeah, we uh, we actually I try to put the easiest easiest one on the uh, site. So yes. Hi, my name is Pablo. I work with Atli in APNIC, and perhaps we can just have an open conversation here around these questions um, because we kind of know each other or not. But perhaps it is good to contribute on the record um, for also leaving this on the. Um, webcast uh, and transcript. Um, so I would like to tell you a little bit about when I feel that our commitment to cybersecurity creates and supports an open, uh, stable, and secure internet. And I think it's all about breaches. Um, in our case, our community is mostly by network operators, um, internet service providers. And um, early on, around 10 years ago, uh, we thought about how the network operators uh, need to interact more with the uh, cybersecurity specialists. And we also realized that these are kind of two different pro professions and how to build those bridges uh, between them. Um, so in order to create um, cross-pollination between communities, it is important to be ready to explain yourself in a language not necessarily yours. And both network operators and cybersecurity specialists use very particular language, mind frames, concepts, processes. And the processes of incident response are very different from the processes of uh, patching and connecting networks as well. So. In order for these communities to interact, they um, um, need to struggle a bit to um, explain themselves to each other and build that bridge. And we have found that uh, fascinating. And uh, Adley has been an incredible uh, bridge uh, among these communities, but also as well with other communities, such as the policymakers and other parts of the technical community as well. Um, so something that we have learned um, throughout the years is that the <laughs> best way to contribute to an open, free, stable, and secure internet is not only by doing your work very well within your area of specialty, but actually to really build those bridges. And something that is very important in incident response uh, is uh, cooperation and information sharing one way or another. And the more um, obstacles and uh, blockages we put to this transfer of information and collaboration, uh, the least we contribute to an open, stable, and secure internet. Um, in summary, I think it's all about bridges. And uh, I think this is an effort to bridge uh, between different colors uh, and, and specialties. And thank you for organizing this, this very cool workshop. Thank, thank you, thank you for great comment. Um, I I believe that the the creating networking uh, on in this session is uh, much important uh, because of the, your opinion. Uh, I totally agree with your opinion. Thank you. So okay, so let's uh, let's create a groups, some groups, and uh, have a discussion of the topic. So um, I think the on. Uh, Online participants, it's already uh, separated to some uh, breaking out rooms, I guess. So, uh, so for on-site participants, please uh, stand up, gathering, <laughs> and talking. Start talking. Thank you.
how they formed the group, a bunch of people, the three people. Or if you like to. I'm a government person, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I leave my position yeah. just uh, July, <laughs> and the, the position is uh, raised to seven degree bus. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, yeah. now I'm in really uh, internal <laughs> and I think the policy. Well, you yeah, uh, I see. Yeah. So we met. Yeah. We had a yeah, meeting yeah, earlier yeah, yesterday yeah. to talk about the uh, yeah. IBU MIC yeah. 7 degree yeah. project. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I would like to announce the one thing. Um, the, the timer shows that we have uh, four minutes left. Yet, um, uh, we will uh, extend some time for this uh, first question because we need some introduction to each other. So we will have three and a half <laughs> minutes left.
Okay, so it's time <laughs> to <laughs> stop talking. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting you, but uh, please stop talking and uh, please pay attention to me. <laughs> okay, so I would like to pass the mic to some people in uh, one, one people, I guess. One people from on site and one people from uh, online and ask your opinion of uh, the guiding question. Okay, so um, does anyone have an opinion of uh, the first guiding question? Or what kind of uh, uh, opinions uh, did you exchange <laughs> during the chatting? Okay, go, go please. So uh, I'm the uh, the government side person. So uh, I'm talking about the uh, what uh, uh, we focus on the dial uh, the dialogue on the uh, global conversation. Uh, we uh, Japan. Uh, well, uh, I'm Japan. Uh, I'm a senior from the Japanese government, and uh, uh, I focus on the when uh, when uh, I talk the or experience. We, I focus on the the balance of the security and uh, stability communication. So uh, the best solution to security is uh, one one of best solution is shutting down, <laughs> but the, uh, to connect st st stably is also important. So uh, we uh, when we talk with the other government people, uh, we uh, I uh, would like to focus on the the, ba the balance of the uh, security of communication and the stability of the communication. That's my experience. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, can you please introduce yourself, uh, or like n name? And yeah, uh, I'm Asuki Nakamura from the, uh, the Ministry of Internal Communications, uh, Internal Affairs and Communication of Japan. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, okay, so I, I would like to uh, pass the mic to online participants. Um, Adele san uh, can you please uh, uh, give a mic to one participant from online? Thank you for waiting, online participants. So I, I suppose there's a conversation in online participants. Ati-san or Bibi-san, is there anything that you you listen to? I just stop the timer and have some time for online participants. I'm afraid that uh, online participants cannot hear the voice from the site, I guess, because they're all in uh, breakout room. Okay. Mm, I think so. Because they're all in uh, breakout, breaking out room. And something is talking. A baby son is talking. Mm. Okay. So. All right, on online participant, are you audible? Are you listening to the on-site on -site voice? Okay. 
Okay. So the online uh, online participant is now having a conversation S and back in five, five seconds. <laughs> 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 Sorry for the logistics. Hello, online participants. We are back, we are back, sorry. Uh, no worries. <laughs> so I would like to ask uh, opinions uh, for the guiding question from an online participant. Um, okay, maybe this time and for the next question, Adli will take the, take, take the lead, but for this, so we, we were discussing not only the question itself about how is our, our work impacting the, the internet and the security, but also addressing the question, uh, the question within the question, can it actually be open, free and secure at the same time? Um, and uh, I think that, well, I think it's not always possible to have all of these three uh, things uh, together, but we can always strive to reach the freedom, openness, and at the same time, security. With this, I pass on the floor back. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, online participants, I, I, I guess uh, you're already talking about the guiding question to light, right? No, no we, we were, were talking. One, yes. Ah, okay, okay, good, good. So, let's move on to the guiding question number two. Uh, the question is, uh, the what international geopolitical issues prevent CSIRS from an open, free, and secure digital cyberspace in engaging with cybersecurity? If we cooperate, how can we address this? Okay, this is also the bit difficult question for uh, morning brains. But yeah, let's start talking. Uh, okay, so let's start talking. So for on-site participants, please do not talk with your friends, please make a new networking in this session. Okay, so please stand up and gather again. Side uh, the, the yeah, Ministry of Internal Affairs and Telecommunications, and uh, now I'm uh, not in the cybersecurity position, but uh, at July I am in relation to the cybersecurity policy and uh, uh, telecommunications policy. So, uh, a kind of the political size. <laughs> yeah, but um, the. Our side, uh, from the uh, the government side, uh, the the uh, for the foreign affairs thing is the uh, absolutely order. So it absolutely order. So uh, yeah. So so the foreign affairs said uh, you can't uh, contact with the, <laughs> the government, so we can't do anything. So. That's a really difficult side of the, <laughs> of the government people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, um, uh, as the, yeah, as the, the, the yeah, internet cooperation. So, if the more foreign affairs said the, the, uh, the thing, but the, it's uh, irrelevant to the, uh, the, uh, the uh, private side. So uh, the private side, um, private side, they have free to uh, connect. So if the government side they have the tr uh, difficulty to connect the other uh, countries and and whatever, but the the private side can connect and solve someone how to to solve the problem or uh, incident. So that's the the private part they have. So it's very Yeah, uh, the of 
course, the, the, the uh, not only the cyber, the security, <laughs> all the security things, the influence on cyber security, especially the, uh, the Ukraine. And, uh, yeah. It's uh, correct, uh, so, um, but we want to collect the uh, all information as well. So we rely on the com and the communication between the private side. Yeah. Solution is the the communication with privacy, building private sectors. So, uh, the government, uh, as I said, uh, the government is very uh, difficult relationship in the geopolitical uh, side. So, uh, the, but uh, the private side, they have the uh, some uh, different uh, different. Uh, Different, uh, sorry, I forgot <laughs> the word. <laughs> different, uh, uh, different matters. So, uh, for for the in Japan, uh, the each uh, some sector has either like information sharing and a center. So they uh, share the their instance or experience. So yeah. Yeah, maybe it's, uh, the in Japan the Serbs uh, shares their uh, at least experience, and some sometimes they shares the uh, uh, instance information uh, according to the, the guideline of the government. Yeah, go government issued. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So we can, so the, uh, the, the government try to uh, su uh, make, uh, su to support, to make some common sense to, yeah. <laughs> One minute left. Okay, sorry for interrupting you all. Uh, it's time to gathering back. <laughs> Okay, so next time I'd like to ask uh, opinions or sharing the, your opinions from the uh, on, uh, online participants first. 
So, uh, uh, could you please uh, the, your, your uh, opinions from uh, online participants? Yep, uh, I'll take this up. Uh, so there was just uh, three of us in, in the session. Um, so we discussed uh, a couple of things, uh, but uh, the first part was basically uh, uh, participants sharing the need to always cooperate. Uh, so both at the national level as well as globally, because definitely we can benefit from one another. We have different experiences. Uh, and when it comes to security, it is important to share quickly. So defend locally, but share globally so that whatever experience we can, uh, we have in dealing with incidents or security or technology or tools uh, can benefit others so that they can be secure as well. Uh, the second part uh, on the geopolitical issues, uh, yes, they do have uh, an effect to the cooperation of the CERT, but in, in some of the recent events, uh, the geopolitical issues have, in fact, st strengthened the cooperation between certs and sea certs. Uh, so this is a, a good uh, a good sign uh, because it shows that despite what is happening around the world, uh, there is a community that is committed to making sure that the internet remains secure and safe for uh, for everyone. So that is it. If, if I miss anything, Bibi, you can jump in quickly. All right. That's no, all. It's all good. Ugly covered all the things. Yes. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. Thanks. So next, I would like to hear from the, hear a voice from uh, on-site participants. Does anyone? Okay. Please. Can you hear me? Right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. My, my name is Tilna Disanayka from Sri Lanka Cert. Actually, uh, uh, I. It, my colleague, what, what the discussion we had. Uh, so, if I summarize, so first one is uh, it is a kind, you know, the sharing as uh, the online participation mentioned, it is sharing the information because when the cyber attacks happen, it is a sudden one. So, we need to share the information because we don't know where the source is coming from because it may happen for Sri Lanka context, but the origin is from another country. So this, uh, finding this uh, source is very difficult. So the sharing information is very challenging. And it's uh, also affecting with the local context, uh, legal and the regulations again, because it is uh, actually cybersecurity is in line with the national security sometimes. So sharing information is one thing and the resource limitation because when we are cooperation with international definitely we have to have the expert level uh, communication specialist or something like that then only we can just have this uh, continuous uh, monitoring or whatever the resource find that we can and also uh, again the the capacity building the uh, national and international engagement so those kind of things that we we're discussing, and so at the moment, yeah, I stop here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's very interesting opinion for me as well. But uh, uh, sorry, it's uh, we do not have so much time. So <laughs> let's move on to the next uh, uh, guiding question. So can you please make the site? Okay. So then, no, question number three is to promote cybersecurity. What is a key message you would like to convey at this IGF? which is attended by a wide range of stakeholders. Okay, yeah, uh, we can see the uh, many participants from uh, many uh, corporations <laughs> on this IGF. So yeah, uh, this question is important, I guess. So okay, so let's stand up and gathering and talking again, please. Last So please find someone who have not yet spoken to. This is a networking session, so please don't stick to your friends.
scholars Thank you. 
pressure noise in the current is uh, uh, almost uh, very, uh, always very. Uh, One minute left. Okay, so sorry for interrupting you. It's time to gathering back. Okay, thank you for very much for your cooperation. Um, so th this time I would like to ask uh, remarks from uh, on site first. So does anyone can does anyone make uh, remarks of this uh, question? If any of you heard something interest by uh, told by so someone others, you can share as well. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you for putting me on the spot. Um, <laughs> that was the price to pay for my smile, I guess. Um, so good morning, my name is Peter Koch. I work for the uh, German Top Level Domain Registry and we are engaged a bit with the um, German CSERT network. And in this round, we had a conversation about, um, yes, the message, but that's hard in seven minutes, of course. So take this with a grain of salt, but I think what we agreed on was that it is important that even in the face, or maybe because we are facing so many geopolitical tensions, it is important to keep up the information sharing or continue information sharing. And um, maybe the, the pandemic is a, is a blueprint in a way where there is global crisis, but at the same time, global information exchange. Um, so we need to keep up that, uh, that information sharing. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So next, I would like to hear uh, the voice from the uh, online participants. All right, I will take this one. So this time we were uh, four of us and we tried to exchange a lot of information. This was very productive, uh, uh, productive breakout session. So 
although there are multiple things and we encouraged every participant to bring in new uh, viewpoints so i think this can be summarized in two general uh, general key directions so first of all this is nothing new we already touched upon this multiple times information sharing but this is not only about information sharing this is facilitating also uh, where to share the information, trusted networks, building the infrastructure for message, um, message exchange, but also designing the groups that can and may share the information because having just people in the group um, doesn't make sense. You have to make sure that this information is there and everyone is engaged. Also, information sharing not only within just certain layers like technical, operational and uh, strategic, but also uh, between those layers so that to build the understanding and clarify in simple and understandable terms what this information or how this uh, particular problem resonates also to operational and strategic levels. Uh, I'm talking from the bottom up. I'm, I'm mostly techie, so that's why I take it uh, from bottom up from tech to the to the higher levels. So this is first one. But the second part is directly related to this. And what we identified is also understanding how the how to make uh, the internet a better place, understanding the device security, personal security, learning about cyberspace, because if we are using these tools, we have to be um, well versed and understand how to use this in a best manner possible, but also how to use it securely. This comes down to personal type cyber, uh, cyber hygiene. So we start with a, just a single entity but also this is expanded to the nation. It's not also, it's not only related to experts, it's related to everyone who is part of the society, understanding cyber hygiene and getting uh, to the national level and thus building a stronger global community. Adli, if there's anything else to add, please. Nothing to add, you covered everything, Bibi, thank you. All right, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's a very interesting uh, opinions from me, and uh, yeah, it's impressive for me that uh, the the cyber hygiene is uh, important for not only the technical people, but uh, also but also the all people in in the world. And yeah, it's impressive for me, and totally agree with you. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, this is the last question of the today's session, and uh, so I will pass the mic to Tamasan again. Okay, so I heard some uh, interesting topics uh, covered on on site and online as well. So I hope this session had a was a good exercise for your morning brains, and <laughs> I truly hope that you hope you enjoy the IGF uh, 2023. Just because this today is a day day one. So I'd like to thank again the moderators, supporters, and everyone here for making the session happen to embrace the meeting spot for CSAT practitioners at this IGF and to exchange insightful views of each of you of internet governance. Thank you very much. Thank you, Adrian, Bibi. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.